in this video I will explain our modest off-grid electrical system. I say modest because it was built with somewhat low budget and to be honest it's not that big either. But for us it's enough and it allows us to live off the grid and to completely run on solar from beginning of February until end of September. During October and January we rely mostly on small 2 kW Honda generator from mid-November to mid-January, the solar system produces practically nothing. During those months, we minimize consumption of electricity. We use about 40 liters of gasoline a year for the generator, which is not that much. The whole electrical system is designed to be as energy efficient as possible, but to be able to run freezer all year round. This is achieved by placing the freezer outside where the freezer has to do a lot less work to keep food frozen. That's because the temperature difference in and outside the freezer is a lot smaller. And when outside temperatures drop to minus 18 Celsius, the freezer uses almost no electricity. Also, the freezer being the same voltage as the battery is a big factor, since no inverter is needed to run it. The inverter wastes around 10% of the battery every day just by idling. 24 hours. So by being able to switch off the inverter in winter, we save heaps of electricity, but are still able to run the freezer, lights and USB sockets to charge our phones. One USB socket or one LED light bulb is around 0.2 amps, which means around 1600 hours of continuous use on full battery. The house has three different voltage circuits, each with their own fuses. The common 230 volt circuit is powered by solar inverter and it is for typical household appliances. 24 volt circuit is solely for the freezer during the winter and 12 volt circuit is lights and USB sockets. This way we can switch off the inverter in winter to make huge savings in electricity to make the battery last up to two weeks with one charge. The battery is 8 lithium battery cells in series, creating a 24 volt battery system. It is located in a fireproof box in bedroom where it can be quickly warmed up if the house has frozen completely. Frozen battery cannot be used, so this is essential. A lithium battery is far more efficient than a common lead acid batteries. Lithium batteries can be used 100% of capacity whereas lead acid batteries take damage if drained more than 50%. This alone means already double the capacity. Compared to lead acid batteries, modern lithium batteries are about half the price if built from cells and should last around 10 to 15 years for double the charging cycles. So the cost per kilowatt is many times better. This battery has 7.5 kilowatt hours of usable capacity and was built for around 850 euros. Mobile phone can be connected via Bluetooth to the battery management system to monitor all the necessary information. As for solar panels, we have five 420 watt panels. They are placed in quite upward position to catch the low shining sun in autumn and early spring. They produce some 1800 watts in maximum and they are able to fully charge the battery in optimal circumstances in about 4 to 5 hours. From February onwards, the battery is always full and we have plenty of electricity. We are able to use many appliances such as electric chainsaw, tools, laptops, induction stove and even electrical oven. During that time we also have normal refrigerator and freezer running all the time. Making coffee with the induction stove doesn't drain even 1% of the battery. We are very happy with this system. It was affordable, should last for some 10 years, and it powers way more appliances than we initially thought. But even though we have all this electricity, we don't want to be completely dependent on it. We still have non-electrical options for keeping food cool or making firewood if the electrical system fails. Stay tuned, I will explain those options in the future videos.